Moving right along, we're going to look at something called identity plates, which might or might not interest you, but let's cover all our bases here. Go to the word Lightroom if you're on a Mac, or the word Edit if you're Windows, and go down to Identity Plate Setup. Now what you're typically going to see in that box on the left is your name. Not mine. Well, if it's mine, that would really be weird. But your name. But what I want you to do is look up here. It says Adobe Photoshop Lightroom 4. It's got the Lightroom logo right over here on the far left. Keep your eyes up here. And I'm going to turn on Enable Identity Plate. Cool. I got my own program. It's called the Andy Anderson Program. The first thing I get asked is, why am I doing this? I mean, is it an ego thing? Probably part of it. We all have our egos. But there's another reason. I do a lot of demoing of programs like Lightroom, and it might not be a bad idea to put my name up there. But you can add more to it. I could come over here and click to the right and type in photography. By, and actually I like lowercase. So let's go ahead and make that all lowercase. I'm a lowercase kind of guy. And what I'm going to do is maybe take photography by. I'm going to make that just a little bit smaller. Maybe like that. And tell you what, let's select all of it and go in and go into something like a uh, Mirrored Pro or something. Make it look just a little bit different. We could change it to italic, bold, whatever we got available. And there you go. Photography by Andy Anderson. But that's not all. You can actually use graphics. So in your work folder for this chapter, I do have a folder called Images. And in there, I'm going to click here. I'm going to go ahead and say Locate File. And what I have here is some, just some files for you. And they're in a file folder called Images. So locate that and you'll be all right. Let's go into Desktop. And there they are. I also have put the originals in here. What you want to work with is PNGs, because PNGs support transparency. You can work with JPEGs, but they don't support transparency. So I have the original PSDs up here if you want to play around with them. This is the one I'm going to use. And I'm going to choose it. Hey, check that out. Photography by Andy Anderson and a light bulb. Andy, you're amazing. So you can do anything you want up there. And again, it's partially ego. But the other thing is, if you use this program like I do in demonstrations and in business, it's kind of like putting your brand up there. Now, there is one more area you can play around with, and that's this area over here, and you can see it down here. I can change, oh, let me show you. I could go say italicize those if I wanted to, or I could change them into any font that I want to. You have two buttons over here for color, and if I come over here and click on one of these, I can change the colors. Notice how they change. When you click on them, they turn a different color. When you just hover, they lighten up just a little bit. You can choose from these two over here and choose the color that they lighten up to and hover with, if you want to. It's up to you. Identity plates are actually kind of cool. And like I said, if you use the program a lot with other people, why not put your name up there? I mean, what's wrong with that? Stick it up there. Be proud. On to the next.